Hello everyone and thank you for checking out this month's quick tip. Today what we're going to be doing is duplicating an animated model and assigning different materials to the duplicates so that we can view the same animated model in a couple different variations. I was able to get this particular model off of grabcad.com. It was done by this user here, Dusan Tajanik. So thank you Dusan, appreciate the use of this model. It worked out really well for showing this example. And let's take a look at what we've got going on here. If we expand the timeline and play it back, what we've got is the product rotates, explodes, comes back together, and turns to face the camera. I do have a uh, fully rendered version of this that I can go ahead and show you. And if you're not sure how to do the exploded view portion of this, I will be conducting a webinar on it uh, that I will illustrate the whole process of setting this up. And if you can't catch the live webinar, we always post them online, so you'll always have that there for your future reference. Okay, so when it comes time to duplicate this, first thing we're going to want to do is go into the project window, and in the scene tree, we'll go ahead and select the model. From there, we'll right-click on it, select Duplicate, and if I play the animation back, as you can see, it looks like there's only one model in the scene, but that's because they're both existing in the same space. So if I right-click on the duplicate and select Move, I can slide this one over. I'll press Done. And let's go ahead and do one more duplication. So I'll right-click on that, select Duplicate, and then we'll right-click on the duplicate and select Move. Okay, once we're happy with that, we can go ahead and press Done. And now let's go ahead and open up our material library. So we'll go ahead and open up the library. And I'll go over to the paint category. And under metallic, I'll select from one of the color schemes here. Go ahead and go with this one. And I'll copy and paste that. And let's slide over here to this other one. And we'll drag and drop the color on there. And let's go ahead and copy and paste. Now what we should have if we play this back is our same animation of this product but in a few different variations. Alright, so there you have it. Pretty easy to do, pretty fast in Keyshot 3, and like I said, uh, if you want to see the full webinar on how to do the Exploded View setup, uh, be sure and catch that. So thanks for checking this month out, and we'll see you next month.